Hi there, I am Lauren from rustichoney.com and today I want to share with you guys some maternity outfit ideas. I am a mom of three. I recently just had my third about a month ago, so I'm no longer pregnant for this video, but I did take some footage along the nine month journey to share with you guys to give you plenty of outfit ideas on layering, how to use some non-maternity clothing, as well as some of my must-haves that I invested in. So let's dive right into maternity outfits and must-haves. Okay, the first category I want you to dive into is dresses. If you have dresses in your closet, I feel like they are very versatile for any time of year. So no matter when you're pregnant, if the weather's cold or hot, then you can layer up dresses and they will work perfectly for you. Look for dresses in your wardrobe with a higher empire waistline. That is always your best bet when you're pregnant um, because it's gonna accentuate the bump and the fullness of your belly. Tie it a little bit higher while I was pregnant and it's still nice and flowy with plenty of room so it's not hugging my butt after my belly is so big as well. So this one's a good one to layer year round. We talked about an empire waistline, which is great to accentuate the belly. You can also not go wrong with an elastic waistband that hits at the natural waist so that you can kind of, of course, be comfy, but then adjust it to where you need as well. And this is another good example of that. This is another non-maternity dress, but it's got elastic at the waistline here. So when I'm pregnant, I can let this sit a little bit higher above my belly and it still accentuates the right parts. All right, so in this video, I'm also showing a sweater dress which just kind of looks like a feed sack on me when I'm pregnant. It just makes me look kind of big all over the place. So to combat that and to make it look more maternity and trendy, I add a belt to it. So say for instance, on this sweater dress, if I wanted to accentuate, accentuate the waist, I would put the belt at my natural waistline. And then when I'm pregnant, I like to sit the, the front part of the belt just a little bit higher up. So it's lower in the back towards my natural waistline and then higher above my belly in the front. And that totally brings out the right curves and makes it look more maternity. So the two things you have to remember with dresses are to pick the right waistline, either an elastic waistline or an empire waistline. And then you also need to be mindful of the length of your dresses. The ones of course that are non-maternity. Maxi dresses and even T-length dresses are perfect because no matter how big your belly gets um, and it's taking up that extra fabric, it will not become too short in the front. Of course, knee length dresses will also probably be just fine as well, but that's the only thing you have to kind of remember as far as how much, you'll be surprised as your belly grows, how much extra fabric it needs in a dress. Okay, so kind of on the topic of dresses would also be skirts. Of course, elastic waist is your best friend. That's really the only skirt that I would suggest during pregnancy. This one is also a nice T-length. The thing I like about this is of course it's elastic so you can wear it wherever it's comfortable. For me, I would wear it kind of at my natural waist and then when I was pregnant, it would just kind of perfectly sit um, up just on top of my belly and that would kind of accentuate this. But another thing you wanna think of is you either want a really fitted stretchy knit to accentuate all your curves or my personal favorite is something that's a little bit more gathered and has a lot of fabric so that it doesn't get when it gets tight over your belly, it won't get too tight over the booty, if that makes sense. Another thing you can also think about doing is adding a belt. So find a good, thin, classic belt. I feel like the thinner one's probably the better. This is probably as wide as I would go because you're not gonna have a whole lot of extra room up here. And I should also mention that it may just depend on how you carry your babies. I have a very long torso and I carried my babies very low. So this technique worked really well for me, but it may not fit your body style. So just play around with your wardrobe, but that gives you another styling idea. All right, and the third category of non-maternity items that I wanna talk about in your closet are your basics. So the first thing you can look in your closet for are your tees. Are there any t-shirts that you have that are nice and long, straight cut, or even ones that run a little bit small? Those are my personal preference, especially in the beginning. So finding those t-shirts in your closet that maybe you don't wear very often because they're a little bit more fitted, those are perfect for just starting out in maternity wear. If you're trying to hide your lumps and bumps in the back, then you can easily, in the summertime, throw on a vest or kimono. In the wintertime, um, a denim jacket, a plaid, a cardigan, but there's lots of layering pieces that you can throw on, accentuate the fitted part over your bump, and then hide and mask the things that you don't want to show. Again, though, it's so important to start in maternity wear, especially when you're putting an outfit together for the day, to start with the comfy basics. Another thing I like to do is layer my graphic tees while I'm pregnant. I will either wear my normal size 
or I will size up one and do a little knot on the side. You'll see in this video, I have one here that I've just tied a knot into to show off the curve of my bump. And then I just layer it for an everyday look. If you don't have quite enough fabric to tie a knot in the bottom, which I know can be kind of difficult on some t-shirts, just use a little hair tie and make a little knot that way and it'll hold in place all day. So the top three that I would start looking for are the t-shirts that are a little bit too tight, the long tunic type t-shirts that are straight cut, and then graphic t-shirts as well. And that brings me to my must have maternity items. So I felt like it was very important to invest in a couple t-shirts that are actually maternity style. And really the only thing that makes these maternity t-shirts are because they have this nifty little ruching here at the bottom. You, you could do this to a basic t-shirt. You could have some of your favorites altered by just insetting a little baby elastic right here with a zigzag stitch and it would actually do the same thing. So if you have some t-shirts you'd like to make in maternity yourself to save some money, you could definitely do that or have, have it done pretty easily for you. I would personally invest in the short sleeve styles first because you can always layer them regardless of the season and get basic solid colors to start with. Another thing that I have not necessarily a maternity investment, but it's just like a good tank. This is actually non-maternity tank, but it is super duper stretchy and it's nice and long. So I love that when I'm putting it on, it doesn't stretch or ride up because I can't stand anything more with a long torso and being pregnant if I have a tank top that keeps riding up all day long. That drives me insane. So these, um, I've had these forever, but they really stay in place all day long. And they're even so stretchy that I can use them for nursing tanks after the baby comes as well. Okay. My next maternity must have would be a couple good pairs of pants. Cause for me, a must have would also be to get denim, to get some denim jeans. I will say, of course, if you work in an office, dress pants may be more of an investment that you need to have. For me, I can wear denim every day. So I tried to invest in pieces that were super comfortable and versatile. So just a nice dark wash pair of jeans. I had ones that were, um, this one's a boot cut. Although I did prefer the skinny jean because I feel like it would go with everything that I had. Um, for a new pair that I got this year, they are from Target. They're high, they have the high belly band. It's kind of just a preference thing. I like the ones that have the belly band that comes up super high because I have trouble like trying to pull my pants up all day. So the low rise ones with the insert drive me insane. But to each her own, that may not be your style. These actually have the front, the high band in the front and then they crisscross in the back a lot lower on your back. So they're actually really comfy. They kind of hike up here and then they're lower right here as well. But um, overall, pick a wash that's very versatile to dress up or down so that you get the most wear out of your investment. I have to share with you my must-have splurge. Um, this pregnancy was my overalls. Okay, I invested in overalls from Motherhood Maternity this pregnancy and I, I don't regret it whatsoever. It was a good investment because I wore these things all the time. I got tired of bending down, chasing two other kids and having to pull my, like, hike my pants up every five seconds. So overalls for me, I just love overalls in general. I think they're a really cute, trendy item. So I invested in those for this pregnancy. Again, definitely not like a must have, but if you have a little extra money and you wanna get a few trendy maternity things, I think these are a good investment. They had a lot of stretch. They have a little um, panel in the side as well, which makes them super stretchy, but I wore them um, all the way to the day I went to the hospital. <laughs> I will, I'll try to link these below too and see if they still have them in stock, but absolutely loved. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and got some outfit ideas and inspiration and you're ready to dive in and create your own cute maternity wardrobe. If you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I love to share anything on this channel from rustic recipes to farmhouse decor and of course, country styling for your wardrobe and your home. Thanks guys. This is gonna be a video about how many crappy hangers I have. <laughs> even stand up straight today. Um, I wonder how many times I'm going to say accentuate your mouth. <laughs> accentuate. Okay. There's not enough coffee in the world to make me talk right. <laughs>